prophetic codes that you can use to prophesy accurately. So these prophetic codes I'm going to teach you in this video. It's not starting from maybe number 1 to 46, or 46 to number 1. It's just random. But if you can do any of these codes, I'm telling you, you you'll be a beast of prophecy. Number 1. Don't look at the person you are prophesying to. Look at the vision. That's one code. So if you want to prophesy to somebody, don't look at them. Look away and see the person in a vision. Code number one. Code number two. If you want to open a vision, think of a person. Think of a person. Once you think about them, you will see them in a vision. Code number three, you need to choose what you want to prophesy about. This prophecy don't just come by itself. You want to choose a particular year. You want to see a year in your vision. Tell your mind, I want to see 2025. Tell your mind, I want to see 2026. That's how it works. Tell yourself, I want you to show me 1984 in Vietnam. The soldiers killing themselves. And you will see it. Number four. All visions are correct. All visions are correct. You are just the one that don't know how to interpret it properly. Maybe you are seeing the past, the present, future. Or you are seeing the thoughts of people. It's now you that you can't differentiate. Whether this one is the fault of people as the past or present. But all visions are correct. I think this should be number five. To locate a person, you will need to use their face to locate them. Yes. For example, you don't know where someone is. Thinking of their face will bring you to their exact location. But make sure you tell your mind that you want to see their current location. Number six. You can see the future and read letters in the future. And read information, charts that will happen in the future. Number seven. You can see the past up to 10,000 years before you were born. Number eight, prophesy with angels. Prophesy with angels. Ask them questions. And let, just listen to them. Don't tell them to show you a vision. Just ask them the question, get the answer, and tell the person. That's all. Because angels prophesy differently than human beings. What you will see in your vision is not what an angel will tell you. An angel will tell you that, you know, things that you don't even think about, they will tell you. Maybe the, the key of the person that got lost four days ago, it can never come to your mind to prophesy that, but the angel will tell you. Nine, cross-check your vision without that spiritual sense. So you can cross-check your vision with spiritual hearing, spiritual knowing. Or you can ask an angel. You need to always double check, cross check. Number 10. Don't prophesy when you just finish eating. At least wait for two hours. Because the process of digestion is taking your energy. So if it's your choice, you want to struggle, fine, prophesy after eating. You will struggle and you'll be making mistakes. 11. You cannot prophesy without energy. Forget about it. There's more to just than opening your third eye. If you don't have energy in your third eye, nothing will happen. I'm telling you the fact. Number 12. Energy comes from food, sleep, and chakras. If you like, say it's demonic, you're on your own. If you don't have the knowledge of chakras, you can never do mad healing or teleportation. You just can't. The current technology that Christians have cannot do it. But the, the technology of the chakras, which is, which is made by God, has made men able to do it. So it's up to you. 13. 
prophesy to people that believe. Don't waste your time prophesying to skeptics. Don't waste your time. 14. You can read minds of people easily when you get close to them. Very easily. You need to get close. They need to be in your proximity. 15. You can read the minds of people far away by meditating on them. Meditating on the thought of the person. Then you get access into the person's mind. 16. Nobody can block you from seeing a vision. And you can't block anybody from seeing a vision. It's a myth. Oh, I blocked someone from seeing a vision. You can't. You cannot. I'll cover myself. Nobody will see me. They are seeing you. I'm telling you. Unless the person is not good. They are seeing you. They can see you easily. And there's nothing you do about it. 17. The Holy Spirit is not really the yardstick for being able to prophesy accurately. Everybody that is born again and baptized by the Holy Ghost, they have the Holy Spirit. But that does not mean you prophesy. That takes us to number 17. You must join a prophetic school. You must to prophesy accurately. 18. There are faster ways to prophesy accurately within three days. Impartation, food, or medicine. I can do the impartation for you. And you prophesy within three days. For some people, five days. For some people, seven days. But it's no more than that. I've taught someone. I, pro I imparted them and they prophesied within a day. It's possible. I could not do that before. But I started doing that this year and last year. It's possible now. Number 19. The gift of prophecy comes bit by bit. You can't just know everything from the beginning. You get most of your information while you are talking, while you are seeing what you are seeing. So talk. And then I see you behind your house. That's where you see a woman coming out of the house. And I see the woman coming out of the house. Then before you think, you see the name of the woman. Tina, Tina. Comes bit by bit. 20. You don't need a spiritual father to prophesy accurately. But you need a mentor to teach you, to impart you. Yes. And you don't need to build a long-term relationship with a mentor. As long as you let him know from the beginning, oh, you just want to learn, that's all. I'll move on with your life. You don't need to be a slave to learn how to prophesy. You can stay connected with your mentor, but you don't need to have like a spiritual father. No. Unless if you are subscribing to your mentor's teachings, because your mentor will also begin to grow, grow year by year, day by day. So he can be giving you some lectures. Maybe you subscribe to it, which is totally fine. But you don't need to call him. Yet. You don't need to have a spiritual father. 21. All prophets are not the same. Some are better than others. Some are top five, top eight, top ten. 22. There is no one prophet that is the best prophet in Christianity. Ibar Angel is not the greatest prophet in Christianity. And that is because I think there is a governing body for prophecy. Someone else would have collected our award for last year. Different people would have collected the award over time. <laughs> Different people. So stop thinking that one person is the greatest something. I'm telling you, different people that have collected it because there are new guys out there now. These guys don't give prophecy in vague ways. They tell you exactly what will happen. Even the cloth that the person will wear on the, the day that the prophecy will happen. So far, I've not seen prophecy about angel doing that. No. The prophecies I see posting on his pages, they are vague. And then I caught and I did it. 
but it's good in world of knowledge. You can win a competition for world of knowledge, but I just feel like there are new people nowadays, you know, that can do better. So if there's an award, new people will be collecting it over and over. Yes, for you. New people, I think, would have retired. I think 23 now. Prophecy can change the future. It can create the future. Yes, if you really know how to prophesy. 24. No one prophet can say, he, unless someone comes to him, then something will not happen. No, other people can do it. I'm telling you, other people can do it. Stop believing those stuff. Other people can do it. Other prophets can do it. it does, it's not really about age or something. No. Okay? Do you understand? Then lastly, 25, prophecy is divination. It's the exact same thing. I'm telling you. People are just like, oh, divination is for the money people. It's the same meaning. It's just that, oh, prophecy. The Israelites call it prophecy. Other people call it divination. But prophecy is divination. It's the exact same thing. It's the same. People are just being brainwashed by, by words. It's synonyms. Synonyms. Prophecy is divination. Divination is foretelling the future. Prophecy is foretelling the future. Too. Yeah. Just that we don't use cards. But we can still use card if you want. But we don't just use card. We use our third eye. We don't need tools. So if you want to join my prophetic school, click the link below and I'll help you. And if you want to get my books on how to summon an angel, you want to bring an angel to make you rich. Or bring money to your relationship. Or make you healed. Get the book. Or get my book on how to prophesy accurately. And if you need impartation, you want to prophesy in three days, get the impartation. Or you can get my course on how to prophesy accurately. It'll take you a while, but you quickly get it, okay? Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.